Hi folks, a quick video to orient you to module two. Uh, this module uh, focuses on our poetry assignment or what I like to call the great oral interp poetry slam, which is where we're gonna not just, we're not gonna recite poetry, we're not gonna read poetry, we're gonna perform poetry, we're gonna internalize poetry we are going to find something that we think is beautiful. Maybe it's poetry. Maybe to you, the most beautiful thing you've ever read are the instructions to uh, your uh, electric scooter. You can read those as long as you didn't write it and it's been published online. Uh, so you can send me a copy of it. You can use it. So this unit breaks down into three different chunks now you might wonder well why don't you just do one chunk end it do a second end it third etc and the reason is because there are some through lines through each of these things through line in this case is the poetry assignment you preparing that poetry assignment uh discussing the poetry assignment and several assignments carry on through all three of these chunks and have some different deadlines uh, I've tried a number of different configurations. Students seem to find this to be the easiest. That may seem ridiculous to you, but I think if you commit to it, you'll find that you can navigate it with no problem. Many, many, many students have navigated it successfully, and um, so I think you'll find that you can do that as well. It does take a little focus. Uh, we're going to start off chunk one now, the dates that you see in here may not be pertinent to your particular class, but this is where they are always located. Chunk one, you're going to just uh, take a look at some uh, material that's going to be instructional material. You're going to take a quiz on that material by the date that's listed over here. And then you're going to jump into the first uh, posting of the discussion. Now, you don't have to wait until the end of this chunk to take that quiz or to the end to jump into the discussion. In fact, I would recommend you get those done as quickly as possible. Okay, so you take a look at that instructional material, you jump into that quiz and then you jump on to this. Now this shouldn't take a lot of preparation. You're just gonna pick that piece and I wouldn't uh, <clears throat> overthink it. Grab something that's going to fit the criteria. So you wanna take a look at what the assignment is down here Make sure you know what that criteria is going to be, okay? One to two minutes, something you're going to memorize, okay? You're going to focus on it without notes. It's not something you wrote, okay? And so once you've got it, you're going to put it up there. Second post is you're going to write up a rehearsal plan. How am I going to work on this? Uh, any questions that you have for me, that's a good time. If you get an answer from me, you can add that into a discussion post. Hey, I asked, uh, you know, Tom about this, and he said that this is a way to approach it. That can be a post itself. Maybe we can create a post together if you reach out to me. Uh, review at least one other student's rehearsal plan. That's step three. And then post that first uh, audio, video, or YouTube link. You can do... Uh, you can do that poetry piece uh, in any of those modalities, all right, uh, just as long as you understand that the final product is going to be a video that is going to be up on a streaming service and you're going to submit a link. That's what the final deliverable of this unit is. Now, uh, chunk two, that's where you get that rehearsal in, inside the discussion forum. Post that link to that rehearsal so that I can give you feedback before you have your final performance due. Okay, so the final third chunk of this is just you working on the performance. Just you taking feedback from other students uh, in the discussion forum because you posted that link up in the discussion forum. Again, important the link. We don't have the deck, we don't have the deck space to download your video. Okay, we don't have the server doesn't have the room to to upload your video. You're creating a link. That was a requirement of the class. It was in the syllabus. If you're not going to use YouTube for whatever reason, although I have given you 
explicit instructions as to how you can use it anonymously, create a unlisted link that no one will find, trust me, unless they are searching BQLTW46, which I can't imagine they would be searching, you will have an anonymous link up on YouTube that you could share with us. Okay, but if you want to use another streaming service that we do not have to subscribe to or create an account for in any way, you're welcome if you can find one.